Google has banned the postings of videos that link to gun sellers or that simply promote the purchase of guns or accessories like magazines. They've also banned videos demonstrating how to attach gun accessories. Already popular YouTube firearm channels have been banned, driven off, or demonetized. You can't find them. You can't get the information anymore. But the most amazing example of this comes from Citibank. Now, that company announced today it will require all of its clients to block gun sales to those under 21 to bar the sale of bump stocks or, or high-capacity magazines. You may remember Citigroup because about 10 years ago, they got 45 billion of your dollars, taxpayer dollars, to get bailed out. That's why they still exist. Now they turn around and work to undermine the constitutional rights of the taxpayers who bailed them out. We called Citibank today to ask if they sent a representative over to explain how this works exactly, but they refused because they're cowards. This is happening over and over. More companies are participating and they're taking action on more issues. The fear the government might remove your rights is becoming quaint. Big tech and big finance are doing it for them already. With no public debate, they just do it. And tough luck if you don't like it. Larry Keene, president of the National Shooting Sports Foundation, he joins us tonight. Larry, thanks a lot for coming on. Oh, thanks so, for having us, Tucker. This is one of those changes that I don't think anybody anticipated was coming. And it's not exactly clear what the parameters are. YouTube is banning what? Well, they're banning... Um any advertising or uh, videos involving um, firearms. Uh, so it's a little unclear and it's very vague about the scope. So for example, are they gonna ban videos of teaching you how to reload ammunition, which as you know is very common in the United States, or firearm safety education videos that show people how to use firearms. So it's very troubling that YouTube would censor information. As a, as a media entity, you would think that they would be a little bit more sensitive to the consequences of censorship. So very troubling uh, what they're engaged in. But, but more than just a media entity, I mean, this is not like Fox News, the Washington Post saying we're not gonna cover something. I mean, YouTube is the public square in effect. If I mean, they have a massive share of online videos, if they shut down a whole category, then it's kind of over, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, as you say, they're like the, um, you know, it's the free market of ideas, except they have a monopolistic power, and they're putting a finger on, on the scale and deciding what information Americans are allowed to see. Uh, so they're suppressing First Amendment rights, and at the same time, they're suppressing the Second Amendment rights by preventing people from uh, gathering or acquiring information about a completely lawful activity. And firearms are protected by the Constitution of the United States. So it's, it's deeply troubling, and, and I think that the public is going to be very upset about it. And we're certainly going to be talking to members uh, uh, of Congress to have oversight hearings to find out exactly what these social media sites are doing and how they're abusing their monopolistic power on information uh, to advance a liberal anti-gun yeah. agenda. Republicans seem to think this is the example of the free market, but there's nothing free about this market at all. It's controlled. Uh, Larry, thank you. I appreciate that. Pleasure to spend time with you. Thank you. Antoine